What's going on guys? It's been a uh, like three weeks, my bad. Just been doing stuff on the car. Um, here's a video that I promised you guys. As you can tell, I got a new header. This is a, uh, it's a PLM Ram horn. The only reason why I sold the other one because it was uh, like a race header, I guess, if you will. And not really made for slammed cars. If you look at this one, it has so much more ground clearance, it would actually hit my head or my oil pan before it hit the downpipe or the header. But anyway, I got that. Then the intake pipe. I gave back to my friend, like I said, but I borrowed this from my other friend and it's like in my cold air. It's just a uh, three inch pipe. Then it's a uh, factory air box that's been modded a little bit on the inside. Some of the stuff's been trimmed. Has a K&N filter in there. I think it looks pretty clean. I will begin uh, cold air intake. I went ahead and got a uh, a brand new distributor for my friend. But the only reason why I got it is because, you know, clean and, you know, painted, I guess, if you will. Then, you know, my transmission's the same way. My old distributor looked like that. You know, just like that dirty aluminum look. Probably could have cleaned it up, but oh well. It was only uh, 40 bucks. I am going to be taking my intake manifold off very, very soon and painting that silver. Then taking this hose and sticking it downwards and get rid of all that. I did fix the crack on the block. Let's see if I can show you guys. As you can see right there, I cracked off all the threads and all the gas sealer that, or JB Weld and shit that was on there. I cracked all that off. Took the sensor out and stuck a um, a set screw in there. See that little set screw right there? I put Teflon tape on the set screw. It doesn't leak at all. I already checked. I already drove this car. Um, so that's fixed. I drove the car. When I drove the car, I was having two problems. That's the reason why I parked it again. Two problems. One, the ground clearance on the header. It was terrible. I scraped it like probably like three, four times just driving it for 10 minutes and it had pretty bad scrapes. So that's one problem. Got a new header, got ground clearance now. Good. One problem done. Second problem. The axle seal that goes into the transmission right there was leaking transmission fluid. I think it may or may not have leaked all my transmission fluid out. I hope not because that was, uh, $30 in transmission fluid So that's problem number two Even though I that was that's a brand new seal in there brand new OEM Honda seal I Installed it proper. I did everything, but that's problem number two Problem number two is gonna be taken care of tomorrow. I Read on some forums and people say to run the national oil seal Sorry, let me that's what people say to run is this national oil seal. Is it's a cheap O'Reilly's oil seal. And that fixes the problem. So that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow. Put that seal in and I'm gonna go drive this damn car. Another problem is, is my starter is going out. Like when I'm in the car and I try to turn it on, it's click, 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 click. But then if I go over here and jump those, the negative and the positive, then it starts right up. I just tried to do it now to start it up, see if it would start. And it killed the power to the whole car. Nothing on the car works right now, so I guess I blew a fuse or something. I don't know. It's easy. Fix. Um, big announcement. People on my Facebook already know. If you uh, want to follow me on Facebook or add me on Facebook, it's Dakota, D-A-K-O-T-A-H, Smith, S-M-I-T-H. Profile pic is the car of this car. But big announcement, I am a, 
I finally got a sponsor. So yeah, I mean, I'm I'm sponsored now by uh, MPC Motorsports. MPC Motorsports sponsored me. Um, they make some badass drop forks and a whole bunch of like fender washers and look them up on Google or Facebook. MPC Motorsports. I'm sure a lot of you guys know what I'm talking about. Like, so they make billet aluminum drop forks and rear lure control arms, which I'm going to be getting. But since I'm sponsored by them now, I'm going to get, they're already sending the windshield banner out. Get that on there. Then since I'm sponsored by them, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my spark plug cover and get rid of my oil cap and upgrade to their MPC oil caps and probably get rid of all my fender washers <laughs> again. But I'm going to start upgrading to uh, MPC stuff. Then, this is the bad side of the car, obviously, because that door, it doesn't look too terribly bad, but I'm going to be getting that another door soon, hopefully. I keep on saying it, but it's just kind of got to find the right one. Still debating if I want to convert the car to power or not. But anyway, this is a little update. Um, I can't think of anything else, but... Good thing I got my uh, slim fan on the back side. And also one of these little clips down there broke off, so I got new clips over here. I went in and already replaced it. I'm trying to hurry up my battery's gonna die. You know, those new clips. And then here's the threads. This is that sensor that, uh, this is that sensor that I over tightened and broke. See how there's a little lip right there on the, like a, uh, right there where my fingertips at yeah I thought it went flush but it didn't but what I did was this uh broke all the threads off on the block you see all the threads in there like I said broke them all off and there's still good threads in the block and took a set screw and like I said it's uh, fixed um, like I said earlier I'm gonna be taking the intake manifold off painting it silver I'm gonna rotate this little plug downwards and see how that one, see how things sticks all up. I'm gonna be trimming that. Um, rotating the fuel line downwards so it's kind of tucked, not all out in the open. But anyways, just figured I'd give you a little, uh, guys a little update and I'm gonna be getting a colder intake. I don't know if I'm gonna get a name brand one or not. But uh, there's the update guys. The car is back on the road tomorrow. I already drove it, so no more pulling the motor. I won't do that for a long time, or probably never, to be honest. But, alright guys. But, 8 minute video. Like, uh, comment, share, subscribe.